let's go in and see what bargains we can find. Hello, myself. Oh, so straight to all the Easter goodies. Let's have a look what we can see. I need to stock up on Easter stuff. I've got four kids, if you don't know. I've got a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, and twin one-year-olds. So my life is chaotic. It's a madhouse. If you want to follow along, I'd love to have you if you want to subscribe. I do vlogs, come shop with me, hauls. £1.50 for these little ones. I love mini eggs, that's a favourite of mine. Well, I love cream. To be honest, I love all chocolate, so... But yeah, um, I need to stock up on lots of like hollow eggs like this for, because we do an Easter egg hunt in the garden every year. So I think the twins are a little bit young for it still, but my older two love doing it. So, okay, see what else we can get. If anybody has any uh, children like me who have crazy hair, this is the detangler spray that my daughter uses and it smells lovely. It's watermelon uh, and it's really good at getting all the tangles out and all the knots out so it's one pound bargain look these are pretty i saw some similar to this at tesco the other day and they were about a fiver but they were gold stars a pound from here bargain drink every time i say bargain or cute cute is usually my word that i say a lot of oh i think we've got some leftovers from valentine's day here actually a bit old news now isn't it Chocolate tulips, some little sponges. Is that supposed to be the Eiffel Tower? Maybe Blackpool. <laughs> see what baby products we've got. I think it's just the usual stuff. Can't see anything new, to be honest. My kids love these, my twins. Twins love the veggie straws. We haven't tried these ones, the melts. They love the wafers as well. We have the blueberry ones and the banana. These are good. The heat sends spoons where it turns a different colour if it's too hot. Good for weaning. Really good as well for weaning or arts and crafts. You can just whack them under the high chair, no mess floor mat. But yeah, I get these quite often for Isla to do a craft, a painting and things. I've got some bath stuff. I do need a new bottle brush actually. Oh, it's cute, but sorry Rudolph, it's not Christmas anymore. Bath crayons. We've got these foam letters and numbers. Baby shag do 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 baby shag do 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 do. How much are you a pound? I say that because some things obviously, even though we're in Poundland, some things aren't a pound, so <laughs> Bath toys, little ducks. These are good sensory like animals. Stacking rings. Good little gifts that. We got given these and the bath animals. Uh, they were in like a hamper when we first had the twins. But um, they don't go in the bath. The babies just play with them out <laughs> outside of the bath because uh, I didn't want them to start going all like mouldy inside so they just use them as like toys now and they both absolutely love eating this blue sheep <laughs> they just eat him all the time like every time they get them out to play with it's just straight into the mouth I don't know what it is about that guy but he obviously looks tasty because <laughs> both of them do it as well and they don't really put any of the other people in the mouth it's mostly just him so must like a bit of lamb Four pounds. Okay, let's see what else we've got. I do lots of makeup at um, makeup here. This one. Nails. Look at that. My daughter would love that. Isla. Donuts on them. One pound fifty. Also, she absolutely loves uh, Wednesday. Wednesday Adams. One pound fifty at Wednesday's child. If she was here now, she'd be like, "Mummy, please, can I have them?" dangerous though in here because everything's so cheap but then so you just think oh yeah it's only a pound I'll get it but then you get to the till and it's like 60 quid <laughs> these are cute little palettes Marrakesh cute little flowers how much are you £2.50 
The tulips at the top. These remind me of a wedding. <laughs> like a wedding bouquet. I'm pretty. I like these. Are you £2.50 as well? Of course you're not. You're £8. Wow, that's a little bit pricey for Poundland. I mean, it is pretty, but I wasn't expecting it to be that much. Very cute. 80p. Little vases. Very sweet. I like these colours for spring. Pastel colours. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Looks like me. Let me get me, uh, let me turn it round. It's my brother. <laughs> Candles here. They're quite pretty, like iridescent ones. Oh, I love these for Easter. Look at those. £1.25 in a little egg. And they have the different colours. Love it. ATP bargain. They're a bit like the Primark ones, aren't they? That you can get the cheap ones. Coconut lime. Hmm. That'd be interesting. They're pretty. Candy spring honeysuckle. And oh, how do you say that one? Help me out, somebody. And that's pretty. Five pounds. This one's five pounds as well. Look at the top of that one. Amber and herbs. That reminds me of something you'd see at um, TK Maxx or Home Sense. Got the diffusers here. Oh, patchouli. These, the black ones always remind me of like a bachelor pad. I don't know why, just like, like a man's house. <laughs> black collection. Some more little face planters. He's not my brother though, that one. These are very sweet. My uh, daughter collects um, dream catchers. I know this isn't a dream catcher, but still, it'd be nice to go on a wall with all of the dream catchers. Let's see if I can get one down. How much are you? £2.50. That's nice, £10. Hello. Ignore the hair, I haven't washed it. It's hair wash day today, I haven't washed it in a week. The joys of having four children. Everybody watching Celebrity Big Brother that started? Big Brother is watching you. It's like an eye shape. I don't think if don't know if it's supposed to be that or not, but it looks like an eye to me. These are quite cute. Two pounds. How much are these mirrors in case anybody's interested? The eye. <laughs> Three pounds. Bargain. Ten pounds for that one. Yeah, Two fifty. The big ones are five pound, the big dream catchers. It's like boho chic. That's a nice little trinket box. Four pounds. Oh, and I like these as well, the letterboards. It's four pounds as well. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Yes, yes, Poundland. Amen. Oops, amen to that. It's a nice clock, six pounds. It looks like it should be a lot more expensive than that. Storage, this is my favorite section. Told you, I'm getting old. I do love a good storage tub. Have all the different sizes. Clothes. Just have a little look at the clothes. All the jumpers. Look at this. Reminds me of a bit, bit of a dressing gown, especially because it's got like a love heart quilt design. All the springy colours starting to come out. You look very comfortable and fluffy. Feels so soft. I need new jeans, but that's for another time. I'll do that another day. Like I need to pencil out a full morning for jean shopping because jeans <laughs> are difficult to get at in my opinion. Um, the sizing is just different everywhere so it's crazy. If you size 12 in one shop you're a 16 in another shop. But yeah, I like these leggings. I can vouch for these leggings. I've got them on now actually. Um, 
Yep, yeah, they're really comfortable and stretchy. Seven pounds for a pack of two. Ooh. For any weirdos out there that have somehow found my channel, here you go. <laughs> what else is there? It's quite pretty. Ten pounds. Oh, they have some workout stuff. Bunny, what does this say? Bunny cardio? Oh, <laughs> cardio bunny. Is that a like a well-known brand? Is that a Poundland's own brand? I don't know. Ooh, getting me in the mood for summer. Have you booked a holiday yet for this year? Let me know in the comments below if you have. I don't think I'll be going on holiday for a good few years now that we've got four kids, including one-year-old twins. <laughs> but a girl can dream. Perhaps next year, we'll see. More um, sportswear, leggings. Feel really nice and soft. Ten pounds. Oh, nine pounds. Bargain. Let's have a little look for the twins then, shall I? Although it can be dangerous because <laughs> look at that current mood. Um, it can be dangerous because yes. Um, I don't know. I feel like shopping for babies. It's just a slippery slope. That's sweet. Little glittery jacket. How much are you? Just in case anybody with children are watching and interested. Six pounds. Cute. Christina Aguilera's on and it's a throwback. I've not heard it for ages. Come on over. These are very groovy. I think Isla would like these. Four pounds. So I'm not in the baby section at the moment. Look at that. Ooh, fancy. It only seems like a second ago that my babies were in these. They're so tiny. Like my babies needed really premature stuff. Um, they were only five weeks early, my twins. However, they were small. They were four five, four pounds five and five pound one, which are good weights for 35 weekers. But um, even like the premature ones that we'd bought beforehand didn't fit them so my husband had to go and get like up to four pounds premature tiny vests like the day after they were born but they're really cute I love anything with a teddy on if you've seen my other hauls you'll know that I'm a sucker for teddy prints on babies Six pounds. got some lovely stuff here more teddy bears I'm a sucker for you Oh, look at those. <gasps> so diddy. You can't really tell on screen how small they are, but they're so tiny. They're really cute as well, actually. I might have to get some for my daughter. I told you, it's a slippery slope when I come doing these come shop with me, because I see things along the way that I like, and I get suckered into buying it. I purposely did not pick up a, tr uh, a basket when I came in so I wouldn't get carried away. It's really cute with the little mice. How much are you? Seven pounds, that's really cute. Three piece set with little mice on. What do you get? Oh, the leggings, a vest, long sleeve vest and the hat. Make a nice little gift. They're so sweet. I like velour, really soft with the stars on the feet. And they are, let's see, three pounds bargain. Um, I picked this up because it's so cute. It's so cute, such a sweet design. A cardigan and some little leggings. Really, really cute. Six pounds. Cute. Hashtag cute. These are lovely for spring and summer. Lovely flowers. They're really reasonably priced in here as well. Two pounds for a pair of leggings. Well, that's two pound 50, that one. Oh, they have the matching. They have the matching t-shirt as well. If you want to do a full outfit, it might be too much though, hey? Flowers on flowers, it's a bit like denim on denim. Oh, look how sweet that is. That is so cute for spring. 
little tutu type skirt. Very cute, four pounds. That'd be lovely for a christening. Or a wedding. How cute that. How much are you? Eight pounds. Oh, I love that. Six pounds. That's lovely for spring. Nine pounds. Oh, it's reversible as well. Is it just green on the other side? It's just plain green. So cute. Look at that. Again for a first birthday or christening. Too cute. Four pounds. That's sweet. But that's more like autumnal now, isn't it? Fall season. We could get it for next year, I guess. Is it nine pounds? Nine pounds, eight pounds. I'm getting mixed up with the euros and the pounds. Right. I think we'll move on to the next section then, shall we? Yes, Hogwarts represent. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Is anybody a fan of The Office? I love both The Office UK and USA, but The American Office is my favourite. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Let's see if there's anything for the babies here. See, I was very tempted to get this last time I came into Poundland and I didn't because they're so cute with the little faces on. I have got some plastic chopping fruits like this though from my daughter Isla from when she was little. I've kept it so I think it would be an, an unnecessary purchase but if you haven't got any of these this would make a lovely gift and they do the fruit as well. Fruit and the veg. Let me get it down without pulling off everything else. these finger puppets it's a good idea three pounds bath toys two pounds oh they've got these um the eggs they're not the, like the branded ones and they told me the other ones but um it's like a dupe of them little pyramid three pounds spinning top little animal cars five pounds oh they have the um the mats here nine pounds let me try and get it out These are good for in like a playpen or even outside at summertime on a patio or whatever. You don't get many, I think you get one, two, three, four, five, you get six for nine pounds. It's a bit pricey, but if you like Disney, how cute is that? So sweet. Four pounds. Wave one. So there must be some more coming out. Uh, who's in here? Snow White again. Winnie the Pooh. Is that the genie from Aladdin? I think it is, isn't it? I think Cinderella. Let me see. She's cute. These are good for like, if you've got school aged kids and they're getting invited to loads of parties. I just come somewhere like this and just like stock up on little sets like this, tie dye creation. It's quite big and it'd look good wrapped up. And like nail shaker, mermaid beauty kit. These are good. £1.50. You know, if like you don't even really know the child, but <laughs> you want to say like thank you for inviting them and happy birthday. Stuff like that's good. And some big chunky cars there for £8. My kids, does anybody else's older kids love like the sensory stuff like the slugs and the caterpillars? These are good for, like I was just saying, for the gifts for people at school. Go in the dark stars, mad scientists, like little sets like that. That's very pretty. I miss Christmas. Christmas, come back. Where are you? You know what though, it's March now. Obviously I'm not going to be ridiculous and talk about Christmas. However, I bet you any money it will come round so fast because 
it's like just jumped from I saw um, something on Instagram the other day that said like the jump from 2019 to 2024 has been so violent and I feel that in my soul it's like so trib it just feels like Covid had just started like last month but that was 2020 and it's 2024 now I've like got to, I've doubled my children since then from two to four <laughs> so yeah it has um, it does go fast time flies so these are good four in one puzzle five pounds the Hot Wheels, if you've got any Hot Wheel fans, my son is obsessed with Hot Wheels. Um, and I like these as well. Are these in the shapes of these? It is. How good is that? It's a, it's a jigsaw, but it's in, actually in the shape of a whale. And an elephant, and a rhino, and a dinosaur. Ten pounds, that would make a good gift. These are new in. Little puzzles, wooden puzzles, that would make a nice first birthday gift. Five pounds. Also, they have the uh, tablets here for £5. However, check on Timu first because I'm sure I only paid one or two pounds for mine off Timu. Wow, £9. No, Isla's got this one, not that. That's a little small animal one. Isla's got this one. 11 inch writing tablet. It's that exact one, and I paid one or two pounds off Timu. And it's £9 here. So check Timu first. I'm whispering in case they kick me out. <laughs> What else is there? Some more Disney stuff. If you've got any Disney fans, pop it, three pounds. Um, I stocked up on a few of these actually um, for like friends or family members. The ones where you know you like you dig out the gold or the crystals. One pound twenty-five bargain. Slime. That's another thing that my children are obsessed with. Scented slime already made up. Two pound fifty. That's cute, a little mini bucket of Play-Doh for £1.25. What a bargain that is. You get a little mini bucket, you get some Play-Doh in it, and you get some shapes. You can't go wrong with that. It's so good just for like a rainy day. Peekaboo! Oh, we love these ones. We got one free the other day from the Book Trust. It was really good from a, um, a rhyme time. We went to the library and did a rhyme time and we got a free one of this, like a peekaboo one. And the twins love it. Three pounds, that's good lots of Easter stuff here. How cute are these in all the pastel colours as well? All the little gonks, Easter gonks. Oh, gnomes, there you go. All the cute little gnomes. Oh, okay. love that. Three pounds. Look at that. The little hat's so cute. Ignore the weird sounds in the background. <laughs> How cute is that? But... Try not to spend money, especially on things I don't need. That is very sweet, this basket. Easter basket. And look at it, it's the shape of a bunny. That's so sweet. Four pounds, and they have it in different colours as well. The green, the yellow and the purple. And that's cute as well. How much are you? You're three pounds as well. Little bunny basket. Cute! Very cute. That's a little bit creepy, actually. He's looking at me like he's judging my life choices. Is that a yoga bunny? It is. It's a bunny doing yoga. The world has gone mad. <laughs> They're quite pretty with the um, little floral design on. You're cute. Little pastel bunny. One pound. Very cute. One pound for the gold ones. Got some eggs as well here, look, two pounds. This reminds me of Harry Potter. I might have to go into the bathtub to open this and see what my next challenge is in the Triwizard Tournament. <laughs> He's cute with the little glasses. One pound. The bigger ones are two pounds. Oh, two pound fifty. Glittery eggs. The hollow? Yeah, the hollow. Glittery. Big ones are £2. Got the little grass ones as well for your garden. These are very sweet for ATP. Really small little bunnies. Oh, look at that to put a little flower in. That would make a lovely little gift. You could put a little daffodil or tulip in. Very cute.
some wreaths. I like that. Two pounds. Oh, how sweet are these? These are so sweet. A little planter, bunny planter, two pounds. I have the chicken ones as well. Oh, and I love these. I like the cracked egg again. That, you know, would be nice on the kitchen side, filled with mini eggs. There you go, I've said it. Who needs like a glass jar when you can just have this? Full of mini eggs. And they do it in different colours. The green and the yellow. But I do like the purple. What else is there? Lots of crafts, Easter crafts. If you've got like an Easter tree where you hang decorations on, we've got lots here. What are you? What do you do? Pressing chick. Oh, if you press it, it goes along the floor. That's cute. Two pounds, some little hanging decorations, like mini ones. Some clear eggs there, window decorations, and then just lots of crafts, which are good for all the kids. And these, if you're hiding stuff in your garden, ones that you can fill yourself. I saw you in B&M. I can't remember how much you were, but you're six pound here, which is cute, filled with all the little chicken eggs that you can fill up. Don't know how much it is, six pound from here. Let's see how much it was from B&M in my, I'll link my uh, B&M come shop with me down below if you want to go and watch that after this one. He's cute. And the chicken one, one pound fifty. We've got lots of Easter cards as well. Does anybody send Easter cards? Let me know in the comments below if you do, because it's something that I've never done. I've never given an Easter card to anybody. That's cool. A little bunny mold if you want to make an Easter cake. These are very pretty cookie cutters. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Cookie cutters, cookie cutters. Say cookie cutters five times fast. Cookie cutters, cookie cutters, cookie, cookie cutters. No, I can't do it. But yeah, they're pretty. I like them. You don't have to even just use them for cookies. It could be sandwiches for your kids. Little um, Easter themed sandwiches for the pat lunch. Little sticks there for cakes. It'd be cute if you're making Easter cakes. What are those? cutlery cases. This is cute. Little placemats. The bunny in the middle. Oh my god. I love them. Salt and pepper shakers. Too cute. I like that one on the end with the Easter eggs. Three pounds. These would be good for mini eggs as well. Five pound for the big guy, three pound for that one. This is very sweet. Got to be careful, I do not want to drop it. Four pounds, a little serving plate. And then you get the bunny bowls. Three pound for the mugs, five pound for the bowl. He would be cute with mini eggs in as well. Yeah, got such a good selection. I could buy half a shop if I'm being completely honest. DIY, no thank you. Um, yeah, I could buy half a shop, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna restrain myself. Lots of Easter things. Oh, I didn't see those the first time I was looking. Little felt ones for two pounds. They're very sweet. I like the wreath. How sweet is this? I do need a new wreath, actually. Although my husband would disagree and say that I've got enough wreaths. But I like having all different themed ones for spring and Easter and summer and Halloween and Christmas and Valentine. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I like having a themed wreath. There's a bunny wreath there. I don't know if you can make, make him out properly. Eight pounds for that guy. 
and five pound for the smaller one. Two pound if you want to make your own. I like this. This is very pretty for your garden. A little steak tulip. Very cute. Which one would you choose? You choose the purple guy, the green guy, or the pink one? Six pounds. You can get a little one for two pounds. And then they just increase in price for how big they are. That guy's nine. How much are you? You're a big guy, aren't you? Big daddy. Nine pounds. Six pounds. You know what? My daughter did an egg decorating competition at school the other year. And we decorated it as a unicorn. And it pretty much looked like this. And you can just buy them from here for a pound instead. I feel cheated out of that hour no to be honest it's better homemade anyway isn't it and we had lots of fun doing it i think she came runner up you know and my son came first because he did um sonic the egg hog instead of sonic the hedgehog he did sonic the egg hog and he painted one tails one knuckles no he did one sonic one tails on one dr eggman and um it won and he actually got into a gaming magazine his picture and he won a chocolate egg he was very chuffed with that. This is good if you're going to have like a little Easter party. One pound for some little paper platters. Mini egg plates, one pound fifty. Some more there. So your own Easter characters. But yeah. stuff easter egg hunt champ that's good isn't it that could be at the end of your easter hunt egg hunt champ hoppy easter might get one of those yeah these are what I, what i hide in my garden just all little like foil ones like that i should throw them everywhere we've got lots here natural big eggs they've not got many big eggs but they've got a few which one would you choose out of all these, I'd probably choose the mini eggs, to be honest. Although I do love a cruncher. But I'd go for that guy, mini eggs. Right, let's see what else we can find. I'll show you the cleaning section in case we've got any cleaning fans or Mrs Hinch fans. Um, this is good, £2.50. I've not tried the Fabuloso. I, I use the Febreze ones, but might try that one next time. I need a new um, Airwick plug-in for my bathroom. It's not that one. Let me see if I can find it. It's the one in like the tin that goes off like every, I don't know, 20 minutes. It's this one, this one, Airwick. Shout stop if you see anything that you like and I'll stop. <laughs> Right, Mandarin, that sounds like it'd be nice. A nice smell. I need some of that, actually, because the antibacterial spray that I've got, um, it's one that you have to wait for, like, three to five minutes, I think it says, and I didn't realise. So I've got to, like, spray it, and then I've got to wait then. So I think this is the one where you can just spray it straight and wipe it straight off, can't you? You don't have to wait. So I might get some of that. I need some new wipes as well to wipe down the high chair when the twins have made a mess. So flora, might get some so flora. Fabuloso. I like this one. I like linen smells. I'm not overly a fan of I'm not overly keen on um, like the stronger smells. I like linen and fresh sheets and linen fresh, stuff like that. £1.75. I've never tried midnight blooms. Let me know in the comments if it's worth trying it. Zesty lemon, yes please. I love anything lemon scented or lemon flavoured. I love a lemon cake. <laughs> right, I think that's it, you know. I think I've shown you pretty much most stuff. I think that's it, guys. I think I've shown you everything that's worth seeing. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I didn't stay strong. I spent £24. However, most of it is actually stuff that I need, like boring stuff, like tinfoil. I hope you got some ideas from that. 
and I hope you enjoyed my Poundland come shop with me and I'd love it if you subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Why when it's there?